what's good everybody welcome to this channel it is called word by lucy i'm still trying to remember it because i haven't been here for quite a long time and a few of my subscribers know this um but i'm sorry guys i am back back at it again with another video so god says what you are believing me for will only come through prayer and giving whatever you're believing god for let me rephrase this whatever you are believing me this is god saying okay god says whatever you are believing me for this year of 2024 will only come only come through prayer and giving prayer and giving Okay, I know that this is definitely going to touch somebody. There's going to be a confirmation for somebody that's been asking the Lord, I want to get this. What must I do to get this? What 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 is the code? What is the code for me to get this? The guy is saying, wait, whatever it is, whatever it is, whether it be whether it be a business, whether it be a career, whether it be um, it doesn't even have to be materialistic. It can be something spiritual. But whatever it is, whatever desire you have, what, whether it be marriage, whether it be just we're asking God for something good, something valuable. So whatever it is you're asking the Lord for is going to be given through prayer and giving. Okay? I'll get into it. Um, so I had a dream, and within this dream I had a vision. Um, no, within this dream... Yeah, I had a vision, open trance type of thing. I, I call it an open trance because um, it didn't seem like a vision. A vision is usually like I'm there and it feels more like my spirit is not with me on earth. It just feels like within this dream, I'm actually not even on earth I'm somewhere. Um, but this trance felt like I was actually... I was I was seeing a screen. It's like I, I walked into a screen. So um, the first dream that I had which had the trends in uh so i would say it was two dream two dreams within one but let's get to it so the first dream was how the enemy was attacking me a lot i had left this previous person that i was talking to and i had gone to a, a, a new person because the new person was treating me better and the previous person i was with it was like a friend friendship it was a friendship that was weird because the friendship that i had with my previous person when we were not like um sexually active you know like that type of like relationship like like i'm you know lovey dovey stuff like we're not like that but we had a we had a relationship we had a some type of relationship you know that we agreed on like some type of relationship but so i'm sorry if it's getting too light oh my goodness story was getting light but i left this previous person i don't know why it's getting so light guys i'm sorry i don't know if i can log it yeah okay because i keep using my hands so I left this previous, okay, this this ex. Let me call him an ex. But like, we were not really, we we're not dating at all. It wasn't even an open relationship. It was a friendship, but it was a, it was some sort of connection, some sort of relationship, but just a friendship. So I left this person, and I went to a new person. I don't know how I found this person, but this person just really, I see when I seen him. I honestly wanted to be with him so I stayed with him and I stayed with him for quite a while but while I was with this new person I was I was attacked by the old person okay I was attacked by the old let me call him an ex although guys keep in mind that this is not an ex mind you this is not an ex not even in real life like not an ex in the dream just a friend that's weird so I left him for a new friend and this new friend just really loved me okay him and I were just cool. Like, we really loved each other. Um, I just felt so protected around this person. I felt so loved. I felt so cherished. Like, it's it's not about, you know, what the person was even doing. Like, his presence was just so filling. And um, while I was meditating on the entire dream, before I get into it, into the second, like, um, what had happened after that, um, I just, the Lord ministered to me that that was me leaving the devil right i left the devil uh i left wordliness and then i went back to god okay so disclaimer alert or let me just say it previously in 2023 i had fallen into sin and falling into sin um it was a bit hard it was it was difficult getting back to god getting back on track um with my walk with god like my walk with god was was crooked 
You know what I mean? Um, so God was just emphasizing how I had left the devil. I had left the world. I had left the devil. You know, like the devil is like sort of like a friend once you're like in the world. Because you, you don't really take the devil too serious once you're in the world. You, you do what he likes and you do it because you also like it. So you guys are like, you have some sort of friendship. You know what I mean? Uh, so I left him, right? And then I went to God. God made me feel so safe. So God was just emphasizing what what's, what's been happening and um, how I've been attacked, you know. So like I said, um, God was just emphasizing that, okay, God was just showing me that, okay, I'm with him now, but I'm getting attacked. And I've been attacked a few times, but he was also, also showing me that I'll be attacked a lot more. Um, and it's not going to be for any, any reason, obviously, it's because he's jealous. So... I don't know why I skipped, but sorry, I missed one more thing. So before God had revealed to me what the dream was about, um, within the dream, I was being attacked a lot by the devil or by, you know, my former friend that I was friends with for like a couple months. Um, so he was attacking me like he was really attacking me. A lot like I was miserable I was not happy but I always ran to God I I always felt so protected because God would just come and would, I would he would hug me you know he would he would make sure I'm all right like he would treat me like his his like his baby girl like his his girlfriend like he would honestly treat me like like my dad like somebody that I can look up to but it's like we have this type of like genuine friendship that's it's not a relationship like that you know couple relationship but it also felt like it but like with no like that type of sexual intimacy it was like it was it was good like it was honestly like the love of god and the man was cute he was fine i mean if that's gonna if that's gonna be my man i mean guys he was because mm -mm -mm. I woke up I was like I felt so good like when I was with this guy like I felt wholesome like God what are you trying to say what are you trying to say like talk to me nice it's 2024 I do not have my hopes up now honestly I woke up I was so happy I was like okay the enemy attacked me a few times that guy like who was that guy and then you know what I mean so um, after telling me that, okay, the devil and the guy, I was like, okay, that makes sense. So within the dream, I'm sorry guys, I'm everywhere. Within that dream, I then had a, I'll say an open vision, an open trend. Just something happened that a screen popped up and I was like pulled into the screen. Um, and I seen a girl, okay. I seen a girl who was being interviewed. This girl was being interviewed and uh, she was being asked how she managed to be, you know, successful in her fashion, in the fashion industry because she had actually like, you know, once someone blows up and they begin like interviewing them, like, how'd you make it? Like, what? Like, share, share your secret. She told them, God helped me, you know, God helped me, but I knew that in order for God to help me, I had to give myself to others. I had to, I had to give okay and i also stayed close to god she was explaining to him she was like you know despite of me being through like the thickest thinnest battles like i honestly still gave myself to others because i knew that i would provoke god for a miracle because way before she blew up and you know she blew up because like she was a fashion i don't know if they call them fashionists but like she was in the fashion industry before she made it she she used to be like very secular like she would post a lot of like her body parts and stuff uh but she was giving a lot like i mean it doesn't it, it wasn't obviously financially but i'll say financial is also a part of giving so do not say that oh i'm not gonna give somebody money just because i lucy did not say this guys giving comes in many ways but like the i didn't see the girl give financially i seen her give herself to others so she would help others despite of what she was going through she would still give herself to others regardless like it was there was no excuse for her to not give herself up to anybody because she knew it's like this girl in this dream she knew how to provoke God, like provoke God for a miracle, provoke God for an answer. So this girl planned, that, okay, I know that I'm going to make it in the industry I'm in, not because of the industry itself, but because of who I serve. And so I'm going to provoke him because I know what he likes. I know what God likes. God likes people who give. God likes people who are sacrificial. 
God had to sacrifice himself in order to buy us, to get us, to pay a price for us. So what he does, always make sure that you also do because trust me, you're going to provoke him to answer you. Also, in the Bible, Cornelius, is it Cornelius? He was like a from Rome or something, or a Roman, uh, I forgot what they call that, but like in Acts around, okay, Acts 10, Cornelius was a very rich guy and he gave to, to the church, okay, he gave the church a lot to the point where he provoked God for an answer, an angel appeared to him because of his giving, so he prayed to God for something, for help, and he gave a lot in order to provoke God to answer. God loves people that sacrificially give. Like, he gave a lot. Like, when I say a lot, it's a lot. The point where I got is that, oh my goodness. An angel, you know, an angel appears in, in you know, in his dream, in his sleep. It was, an, it was a vision, and usually visions are, like, pretty much real. So, an angel appears to him. An angel tells him what to do. An angel answers him god answers him and i say this because a lot of us think that just because we fast and pray we're gonna get we're not we're gonna get a miracle mind you in the bible a lot of them were fasting and praying a lot of christians were fasting and praying i'm telling you uh cornelius was not was it was he a jew i don't i don't believe i don't think he was a jew i also i think it also states that he wasn't a jew but i might be wrong jews then knew you know uh how god worked or they kind of they, they were sort of like raising the religion itself they were raised in that atmosphere of knowing god and believing in god but like cornelius really knew god like this guy knew god like he knew god he didn't need to be born in that environment the christian like environment but this guy knew god so i say this because giving provokes god if you have a problem with giving pray about it and begin giving do not just pray about it and wait god to like you know miraculously get you up and and you know help you give like honestly guys obviously like over okay take it slow do not give out you know recklessly um like you know all your savings and stuff you it depends on your faith like it honestly depends on your faith but when it comes to giving it provokes god that's why i was trying to add, like really tell you guys about this but um getting back to that trends the girl also talked about how uh, you know, God made it happen for her that she made it. Like, she was giving a lot and praying a lot. And despite of how she felt, she still gave. And I also want to emphasize on prayer because when you give a lot, you give yourself a lot. It doesn't have to be financially, even though financially is a part of giving. You you always, you sort of desire that other people do the same thing to you. Um, but not everybody has the same heart. So that definitely did hurt her. Um, or just having somebody be there for you is a part of giving you know giving yourself and helping yourself or um is a part of giving you know giving giving yourself up like helping others honestly it's a part of helping so not getting helped while you're there you need God you know you need you need to be reminded of God's goodness and how God is is the provider of how God is is the reason why you are stable honestly you need God regardless like you need God every day you need God like that's why we pray. Another thing I wanted to touch on for her when she said prayer in that trends, um, it wasn't just like, ah, you know what I mean? Like it was just intimacy with God, like being, you know, meditating on God. I don't know if you guys understand what I'm saying. Like, you know, when for those who pray in tongues, if it's you, please comment down. This is me. Um, when you pray in tongues, there comes a time where you're quiet, right? And you're just remembering of how good God is. You're just, it's like you're being, rem like you're being reminded. Or before you pray, right, you just sit there and you just think, like, I can't believe I'm here. You know, I can't believe God got me, you know, through all of that. Just know that's intimacy with God. That's actually worshiping, okay? That's worshiping. So do not take prayer as like, something that you're gonna have to do because you know you want a miracle or just take prayer as something that nourishes your spirit take prayer as like working out if for those who work out take prayer as just something treasurable something good mentally um 
take prayer do not take prayer as a chore that's what i'm trying to say take prayer as something like as a love language you know what i mean as a love language um just take prayer as that um if you guys need help on learning how to pray or you know any of that things please comment down because i do believe that god will allow me to release another video on prayer but honestly this year you want to provoke god for a miracle anything you want make sure you're giving make sure you are also spending time with him so that you know you're mentally stable because in a world of you know full of evil full of let's just say evil people you're not gonna always get what you do for others back to you you know what i mean like that's not how it works you know god gives god takes so if those were not giving back to you god is not you know it's not it's because god doesn't even want them to god is just teaching you humility god just wants you to be humble in this day so Thank you, God, for this video. I pray that those who heard it, really, it touched them in the name of Jesus. And I also pray that they're able to come to understand prayer and they're able to come to give wholeheartedly to understand what I'm really trying to say in spirit and in truth. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So thank you guys so much for watching. This is the second, is it third day? I think it's third day oh my goodness but um i missed you guys so much and i pray that all of you guys are doing well uh and i hope to see you more um you know when the, when god allows it i hope to see you more i'm so happy to be back um it's been quite a journey uh i might share a bit of i don't know if god allows me to but I might share a testimony of like what happened, you know, what happened before, you know, I got closer to God again. I guess I was close to God, but it wasn't in like the, like the purest way I would call it. Um, I'll say that I backslid and the backsliding led me to even more things. So, but I'm glad to be back because being where I am right now, is like a miracle like being where I am right now only God did it like he gave me wisdom on how to do it and um, you know how to get back to him it's, it was like a spiritual journey um, it took like it honestly took wisdom it took wisdom he always gets me back on track and I'm I'm very happy for that and he'll always do it for you he will always do it for you so wherever you are right now do not hate yourself for what you're doing do not hate yourself do not hate yourself um, please just keep yourself in prayer keep yourself in meditation of God and just know that we're not saved by you know what we do we're saved by God like we're saved through Jesus uh, we're saved by him and only him and only through him so there's really nothing you can ever do to impress him um, all you can try to do is just meditate on his goodness and thank him for everything always thank him for everything so thank you guys so much and I hope to see you in my other videos God willing bye